Okay, so after we have um, updated our invoice settings, we're going to go to credit here. Okay, um, credit. Let's go there right away. So this is pretty simple. Enable or disable credit. Of course, I want to enable it. Okay, so what it means is, I'm going to, sorry about that. What it means is, I'm gonna check that so I will allow clients to like refill or 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 prepaid for the services I'm about to offer or what I'm offering so they can like fill their account with $100 $500 $1000 however amount they want to prepay so they don't have to worry about like um, having late payment and get their account suspended or even terminated so we're gonna allow that so clients can put a deposit into their account so they have a, a positive account balance okay so that's what, we, what we're going to do and the maximum deposit don't uh, it's it depends on how much you want to allow your clients to to be able to, de to, de to make a deposit to and for my type of business I'm going to change that so I'm going to change maximum deposit to maybe 5000 okay maximum balance they can have like 50000 because you know what I'm targeting the big boys as well. So for example, if McDonald's are going to be a client of Eat Memo and a Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut and stuff uh, uh, companies like that, they're going to have uh, they're going to want to have a big balance um, stored into the Eat Memo account so they can keep using it without worrying to like keep uh, having to keep up the balance every single day. So I want to allow the maximum balance to be fifty thousand dollars and a maximum deposit to be five thousand and the minimum deposit to be ten dollars that'll be fine for small restaurants okay so that's pretty much it and always save changes here save it and uh, let's move forward after credits we're gonna go to affiliates here okay um, here, let me just do that for you. <laughs> okay, affiliates, and let's go to affiliates now. Now, here, what is affiliates? Do you need affiliates? Do you really need affiliates? You might, but it's it's a decision to make yourself here's the case big companies like like hostgator bluehost godaddy like huge huge hosting companies they pay their affiliates like fifty dollars a sale or even hundred dollars a sale so you can't really compete with that if and if you're offering like ten dollars a sale or even 10% or 20% of recurring payments it's not going to be compelling to your clients okay so for starters I don't suggest you to use affiliates maybe later when you have like a thousand clients at hand even at th at 1000 clients mm, I won't suggest it okay so that's my personal choice and considerations but if you want to enable affiliates um, I'm gonna explain it to you anyways here okay so if you want to enable it you have to tick this box to enable the affiliate program uh, rectangle here sorry about that let me clear that okay this one you have to tick that one and uh, tick that box first and you have to decide 
affiliate earning percentage how much percent you want to give your affiliates if they refer a sale to you a bonus deposit if they deposit an amount to their account affiliate payout amount how much you're gonna pay your affiliates if they refer a new client to you a, a, a commission delay which is a good idea because what if you make a payment to your affiliate after a sale was made and then the, the client cancels your service within like 20 days and ask for a refund so they'll get you into trouble right so you might want to put like 60 days or 90 days to pay to your affiliates it's up to you so yeah this is what I'm talking about here right the affiliate payment amount there and then the commission delay how long you wanna pay your commission to your affiliates if you set that to 30 days 90 days it's in a number of days okay and then you can put your links there here but as I said before I wouldn't recommend you to go through the affiliate path but I'm gonna show you something even better than that than affiliates okay just stick on the project 1000 program and you'll see okay so that's it and I'll see you on the next page which is security so I'm gonna skip this video into uh, next one and we're gonna cover security on the next one thanks for watching